So what are your feelings on proof of stake? Uh, I think it works uh, well enough uh, for what uh, what uh, it has, because proof of stake um, has been around since uh, you know Peercoin uses is the first one I heard of that uses a hybrid uh, proof of work proof of stake model. Yeah, well, I would um, say hybrids are, are different than pure because hybrids sure, still have sure, proof of work. Sure, sure, sure. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. But uh, you know, I, the, the first pure proof of uh, stake uh, was the NXT project, mm -hmm. um, and you know, is it perfect? I feel probably not, but does it work well enough? It seems to work well enough. I mean, it hasn't had anything catastrophic happen to it yet. That doesn't mean how come no one uses Nextcoin. Well, the community things that NXT I think is remember it didn't have any funding. Uh, it, it started out with the, the only funding it got was twenty one bitcoins back in two thousand. Well, that no one heard of, right? So there were problems with distribution. There were some problems with marketing, and uh, you know they they're rebranding themselves to this thing called Ardor, which they they hope to address some of those issues. When is that rebranding going to be done? Uh, it's already underway right underway, now. Yeah. it's been underway since last summer. I was going to say yeah. summer of two thousand sixteen. Yeah. And um, the the, the uh, to answer your question about why people are not using proof of stake, there just hasn't been enough time and uh, not enough uh, proven time. If you look at Excuse me. If you look at a lot of the uh, proof of stake uh, uh, blockchains or cryptocurrencies, right? Um, the the uh, the problem with it is that it just hasn't had enough testing. It hasn't been out in the wild long enough to for people to see that it's safe and secure. If you look at the, uh, for example, like the NXT uh, uh, blockchain, if you look at their cryptocurrency, they don't they don't uh, compare to Bitcoin that has like I think like five thousand nodes to to process all the Bitcoin uh, transactions. Uh, NXT has like I think um, the last time I checked it had like 60, 70. Well, it's not just the nodes too. The market cap I think plays a big role, correct? Sure. Like, I mean, there's not <coughs> enough bounty I think on it to really see a true test of, of what sure. could happen. But we're we're gonna see more of that. I mean, yeah. that, like uh, remember our our channel is focused on investment, and uh, we are focused on helping the individual investor and making a return on uh, on our investment. Not necessarily, I, I mean, we do care about technology, but in the sense of how, uh, how it affects our investments. Yeah. Uh, so g given that focus, at, at the moment, there's, there's uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's not entirely clear from an investing perspective how that will, imp whether proof or stake works or not, how that will impact our investment. So we're not entirely so, focused on so it. You know, there's okay. more factors. If, if you're talking about like, should I buy this coin, yes or no, right? Um, whether or not proof of stake works, if let's say it's a proof of stake coin, mm -hmm. there's other factors that matter more than whether or not proof of stake works. Or uh, What's, you know, what's the biggest factor for you? Uh, the biggest factor is... Funding. Uh, fund okay, so uh, their funding is, is a, definitely a huge factor, something we focus on very much. It's uh, their leadership, it's the community building, um, it's their roadmap, their technical roadmap, it's whether they can execute on that roadmap. All of these things will affect your investment far more than whether or not proof of stake works or not. Now, I, I also want to add this too. Uh, yeah. Keep in mind that um, you're asking me these questions about NXT, and um, just so your audience knows, you know, I was one of the uh, co-founders of the NXT Foundation. To help promote and and, and, and you know grow. That's a nice and, disclosure there. It's, yeah. it's, it's good to point out. Yeah, yeah. appreciate so, it. Thanks. Yeah, so that the, the audience needs to be aware of that. Even though I'm not you know active in the NXT Foundation anymore, you know, uh, I did help start that to, to, to get that going. And one of the things that NXT uh, did that uh, you know to answer your question about why isn't NXT or the proof of stake more popular is because NXT was the first cryptocurrency that they, they call it a Bitcoin 2.0. It was like a second generation cryptocurrency and it was the first cryptocurrency that was not based on the Bitcoin code. So it was very new. The way that they raised money to grow it was very new. Uh, it was the first uh, what they call a pre-mined cryptocurrency, which means that the, the tokens were distributed immediately from the, the Genesis block. So all the one billion tokens that were created were, were created instantly. It was not mined, mm -hmm. you know, uh, like Bitcoin was. 
So there was a lot of people that felt that it was not fair because they did not get in uh, and they had never seen an ICO before. Is it inflationary? Um, no. no. No, there's no, one billion, billion coins. One hundred percent. So why? Right? So why would I stake my coins in next if uh, I don't get returns investment, or do I? You do. You get you, invest. You get, yeah, you get transaction fees. Yeah. Okay. So, so transactions have to be happening in order for me to get paid if I. Yeah, because the, the approach that NXT came out with was that there was no, there was really no need to wait, you know, a hundred years, one hundred forty years, or whatever it take to uh, for all the coins to be produced. It, the, they, the, they took a different approach, you know, and the thing that uh, NXT, I think, uh, according to my understanding and recollection, it was the first ICO. It, it was the first initial coin Maybe, offering. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember. It's hard, it's hard to gauge yeah. that. Yeah. 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 It, well, they, they well, well, it, it was mid-2012. Really I, yeah. I think it was mid-2012. Yeah, that was a long time ago. And so yeah. people, like nowadays, when you talk about an ICO and when we talk about it on our channel, it, nobody uh, blinks their eye about it because they're all used to it. But if you rewind back to the end of 2012 yeah. in the beginning, uh, that was called an ICO would have been called a pre mine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Nobody uses that term no more. Yes. What, exactly. uh, so when Nextcoin rebrands itself, what's going to happen to the people holding Nextcoin right now? Uh, what they used to have it. They they, they still have it. Um, It'll just be called something else. Well, it's the 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 thing was that the the problem with um, with uh, NXT. Uh, or the problem with cryptocurrencies is that whenever companies and businesses want to build their internal uh, blockchain, their private blockchain, the problem is that they don't have the technical team to do it. And when they go and build stuff on top of NXT, it's very difficult because it might be a small business or a business that, that may be a little bit larger, but they just don't have the technical <coughs> know-how about blockchains and stuff to build it. So what they did was they created what's called the Ardor blockchain. And what Ardor does is that it has side chains, right? So if you're a business and you want to create your own private blockchain like R3 Sev did, instead of going out there and building it on your own and hoping that there's enough nodes to secure the blockchain for you, they're doing it on the Ardor blockchain. So it, it secured 100% proof of stake. How was how are initial shares distributed for NXT? It was distributed, uh, they were, the uh, uh, founder raised 21 uh, Bitcoins. He said he wanted, he needed to raise 21 Bitcoins. Uh, his name was uh, BC Next on the Bitcoin talk uh, forum. In, in 2012. 13. Was that, like, uh, it was 12. Like, it was 12. 2012 12? or 13? No, it was 2012. Like, it was like 13. 13. 13. 13. It was like 13. 250 yeah. bucks, right? Yeah. 21 Bitcoins is like yeah. 250 bucks. Uh, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> a lot of money, right? Was it, was it was 2013. Yeah, was yeah. It's, it's, it's the largest yeah. out of all the cryptocurrencies, the one that had the biggest uh, growth in its history, till this day is still outside of Bitcoin. Yeah. Is still NXT, no matter what anybody uh, says. About I, I want to ask you.